Electric cars is the future, but not just for us to drive in, but also for police to chase us in as well. Um, as you know, uh, throughout the country and even in Europe, uh, some of the police departments kind of were looking into getting uh, Teslas and some other electric cars as uh, some of the uh, new car cars for their fleet. Um, I don't know a single one of them that actually using it for patrolling the streets. That's why I kind of found the story pretty cool. Uh, Fremont Police Department, they should be familiar with Fremont, California, that's where Tesla factory is, is actually moving forward with this in the next couple of months. I'll tell you all about it and why we should all be excited that the cars chasing us are going to be all electric. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, please click on that subscribe button and let me give a quick shout out to one of my new Patreons, Anton Kowalski. Uh, thank you so much for supporting my show, uh, Unbiased Independent Show. I definitely appreciate support from my Patreon community if you want to support me there and thus watch me live. Uh, all of these videos uh, are, are live on Patreon. Um, there's a description. There's a link in the description of my uh, of this video. You can click on it and join my community there. So thank you so much for your support. All right. So Fremont Police Department, as you know, it's a it's a Bay Area, California, Silicon Valley. Obviously, the technology is on everyone's minds. You don't have to sell it to anybody there. Um, and police departments are you know part of our government and. I I don't know how it is in your country or in your city or whatever, but for example, in California, when I drive around and I see a school, uh, most of the schools now have uh, solar panels on their parking lots for teachers and students um, as covers. And a lot of our government organizations, and now I live in here in Sacramento, which is the capital of California, by the way, just in case if you didn't know, it is. Um, a lot of money goes into it, and the government is pretty, you know, pretty, I mean, they really do put the money where the mouth is, and, and they implement this. So, now... Fremont Police Department bought, I actually, they bought a used one. They didn't buy a new one. I believe um, this is the one. Looks totally like mine. This is a 2014 uh, Tesla Model S. I don't know how many miles it, they had on it, but I'm going to assume it's around, you know, 50,000, which is, you know, interesting because I, I think most of the cars that police departments buy, they're brand new, if not all of them. But I understand there are budget constraints, so I think they bought it for a little over $60,000. Don't forget, these cars, all of them, whether they buy it from Ford, Chevy, or whatever, they all have to be retrofitted. And the retrofitting costs a lot of money because you have to put quite a few things on there. I mean, you obviously understand the lights and the equipment and radars and cameras and the computer. Um, they're armored. They have to have extra lights and extra stuff in their trunk. Their trunk organ is a little different than ours obviously there are a few other items that they might need like some automatic weapons here in uh, in california so it actually can cost up to forty thousand uh dollars on a regular one now they're saying on this one it will be just a little bit extra because it is an electric car um those shops who retrofit these cars are not as familiar with them so some research and development goes into it um and that's what uh, this car is in right now it's in in a retrofit shop um this is a picture of it obviously kind of uh first you know like i mean obviously paint job and the the lights on top and by the way look at the front for those of you guys who are you know looking to upgrade your front end from the old uh, version to the newer here's an option you can put one of those bumpers in there and it's going to look pretty cool as well you don't even know right it's kind of a pretty good fit with the you know the logo peeking um, out of that little bar over there so i'm kind of digging it i gotta tell you it looks like almost like a sports car or something like that anyway so now let's talk about why uh, they are doing it. I just had a phone conversation with uh, with uh, the captain of their police department, and um, uh, you know they, they're actually very excited about this. This is this is something that's happening with no pressure. They, they want to do it. So let me tell you about why. Before that, of course, I want to make sure that you know that this video and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Teslas. Now they don't retrofit your Teslas with the police equipment, but they do retrofit them with a lot of cool stuff. So you can go to their website. It's in the description of this video so is the discount code so you can save yourself a few bucks so go at it and have fun all right so now that police department as i as i was talking to them earlier today and hopefully i'll schedule a ride along in this car once it's actually in the road that's still about you know six to eight weeks away um just like i said retrofitting does take a while um they started uh you know going green uh in 2008 so over a decade ago um they they bought uh, their first hybrid car and they i i i 
they have quite a few hybrid and plug-in uh, hybrids in their fleet right now. Uh, all of them are obviously service cars. They're not like, you know, to chase bad guys or, you know, for other things the police department does. Now, the one of the reasons they, they won this, wanted this car and just electric cars, they, they by the way, they did research buying all kinds of electric cars. They just only... You know, their research showed that this was the only car that they could get behind on because of the range, essentially, right? So um, the, the the service cars usually go between 40 to 90 miles per day. So I would say 100, 120 would have to be like a solid range, absolutely must have with all conditions and speeds and stuff like that. So uh, that's why... Um, this one, which is a regular 85 uh, kilowatt hour battery, uh, was was chosen. But they're also saying that over the next five years, and that's usually what the lifespan of, of a police car is, they're going to save themselves about fifty thousand dollars. About thirty to thirty-five on it is going to be on uh, gas savings, and the rest will be maintenance. Now. These cars still do need a little bit maintenance, so that, but obviously not as much as tune-ups and oil changes. You guys know. Um, but the other one is going to be um, because of the gas savings, and they don't really have to spend that much money on their uh, electricity because they have solar panels there that produce all the energy for, I believe there are three charging stations there. So all of the energy comes from the sun. None of it comes from the grid. Uh, um, obviously that needs to be maintained and, and the cost for the next retrofit needs to be, you know, obviously accumulated. Uh, but it, it's, it's still much, much cheaper than um, gassing your car. And, you know, once I'm going to, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll get there and, and see this car in person. Um, obviously one of my questions is going to be, like, okay, how much gas do you guys spend on running your cars idle, right? Because you see a lot of times, you know, cops are sitting on corners and they have to run their cars so their equipment runs, radars run, their, their communication system runs, um, and obviously their heater and air conditioning runs. Uh, so I wonder how much money can be saved on that. Um, as you know, you know, battery powered cars that, you know, that, that, they don't really, they don't really care where the uh, AC or heater power is coming from because it's coming from the battery and it's a pretty large one. So I wonder if that is actually going to save a lot of gas as well. So yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm curious to know, guys, what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea at this point? And do you think it's going to be enough savings for police departments around the U.S. or whatever country you live in uh, to start retrofitting, uh, start buying electric cars and retrofitting? And do you think other cars right now ready besides Tesla's uh, for this type of usage? Put it in the description, uh, in, in the comment section um, in, in, of this video. Let me know if you think that we are ready for electric cars. And if so, which type of cars or brands cars do you think police departments should be able to use um, so they can actually put these cars in their patrol uh, in their patrol rotation? All right, looking forward to those comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.